Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Sunday, guys, and this is our weekly analysis. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. Guess what? Uh, we did smash the market on Friday. Uh, that was actually Nasdaq. I think also S and P five hundred. So let's check what's really happening. So before we go on that, let's check what do we have this week. What do we have this week? We can easily see that Monday, which is tomorrow, we don't really have anything. I think it's president or whatever in the U.S. I think that is going to be a holiday. So sorry. From there, we have Tuesday, which which we have CPI from Canada. Uh, that will actually move the market on Wednesday. We have FOMC minutes uh, on Thursday. We have jobless claims or you can call that uh, unemployment claims, right? So let's see. Let's see what's really happening on the other side of the market or let me just show you before we continue. Let me show you how we send the signals. You can see that uh, I it's our VIP signals. You can see that um, Nasdaq that I was talking about here. Yeah, this is the signals that I was talking about. I even told them to close or lock their profits. Likely enough, if you did close, you did smash. But I saw that the market did reverse, you see. So this is how we send the signals. You can see that we make things way too easier for everyone. I tell you, or I can say we add sort of the nodes on the screenshot that we take, you see. So everything is just there. Close uh, your profits. This was a uh, uh, S&P 500. So I'm going to do something like this. It's time to close your profits. This I think it was Thursday or Wednesday. There you can see after that CPI. You can see here we did smash the market very nice. So this is how we send the signal. So we send these uh, figures and also the screenshot figures and also the screenshot. And that I think it makes uh, your job or our job very easy people they can easily understand what we're trying uh, to say so again as you know sorry as you know we have to show you our packages and take uh, actually look at that uh, closer we have some very nice specials there you can see that is more than 50 percent of the special that we have you can post this video and let me know another one is our prop fan program where you actually uh, pay 350 and we help you to pass your uh, prop firm trading whatever everything everything until you pass your prop firm actually until you get some fast profits and until you make enough profits likely enough on this friday one of my student uh, one of my student from prop firm he made 10k last friday so which means Maybe by the end of this month, he will be starting to withdraw his cash from his prop firm. So, yeah, without wasting uh, enough time, guys, I've been tweaking uh, these programs, uh, OBS, the programs that we're trying to record with here. The, maybe this video is for the 10th time, uh, trying to record, delete, record, delete, because... Guys, this sometimes can give you some headache. You have to connect microphones connect, uh, correctly, noise, suppression, stuff like that. So it's a job. So if you are here for the first time, don't forget to smash that sub. And that will actually go a very long way. So if you are already been here for quite some time, thank you very much for supporting the channel. So you can easily see that, yes, we are on that uh, Bitcoin what's really happening on bitcoin uh, you can easily see that the market is flying the market is flying let's zoom let's zoom let's zoom what's really happening is the market is actually flying and that's something that we actually want if maybe you are into crypto so what we see here is yes the market is doing what the market is actually pushing to the upside we saw the market breaking that 50,000 mark there so the market is now creating a very nice resistance there you see so let me just make this i think we need to actually go closer i think we have to zoom a little bit we need to zoom uh, this to a point where we can everyone can see nicely we are not in a hurry guys it's weekend it's <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys sorry 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 so 
yeah, uh, it's a weekend. It's a weekend. What's really happening? You can see that on Bitcoin, the market is still pushing to the upside. But what we see here is, uh, yes, the market already gave us something like a resistance. So we're going to treat that nicely as a resistance. So once the market breaks out of that, we know very well that the market will be pushing to the upside. We know that that bullish momentum is now aggressive and it shows that you can see here. This was a smaller move. So it shows that the market is trying to break out. So the market is actually on this bullish momentum for quite, it's very quite strong. So let's push to the next one. Let's push to the next one, uh, which is, uh, let's see, which is going to be DXY. What's really happening on DXY? You can easily see that the market uh, it's going up for quite some time now so let's try to zoom a little bit uh, lower so that you can see everything let's try to zoom you can see that yes we have some proper structure previously i've been talking about this for quite some time now the market has been pushing lower for quite some time this was a very nice downtrend until we had that breakout so on that breakout you can see that the market did give us some consolidation structure it shows that the market is like did not really know where to go but since this was coming from this downtrend it shows us that no even though the market was consolidating most likely we have to be extra careful when we see structures like this because sometimes the market can reverse right sometimes the market can reverse so we did throw our resistance on top there uh, even on the bottom we did throw our uh, resistance so this is going to be our resistance and support sorry vice versa actually it's actually vice versa it's a resistant and support but again don't really focus on the names as long as you understand you can call it support or whatever but as long as you understand what you're trying to say because some people they so much focusing on the theory part but they don't really understand the practical part you see so if you master the practical part even if you mess up the weight is still fine so what we see here is we saw the market actually breaking out i think this is this was the time nfp it was very strong guys nfp uh, yeah now today i'm doing some mistakes nfp i wrote fpn so something like that so yeah we see that nfp did push the market to the upside because it was positive so another one here is until we see that breakout the market was no longer having that momentum until we have another cpi so cpi was also uh, on a bullish side things were actually positive we saw a very nice push and the market created this resistance for us so for us to say maybe the market will continue we can see that but the market has to continue breaking all this resistance you can see we broke out of this so this is obvious that we are on an uptrend but the question is we can see a reversal but it's not really surprising because we also see this type of uh, connection there maybe the market wants to start to create something like that if it's not really something like that it's fine it means maybe the market will be coming back to this support area do you see that maybe the support area before pushing up oh there is a, pos a possibility that the market can actually continue pushing even lower the market can continue pushing even lower so let's push to the next one which is actually usd uh, usdjpy what's really happening on usdjpy you can see that yes the market is trying to push the upside we did have uh, this nice downtrend the market was pushing uh, lower for quite some time and after that we had that breakout that is a pure breakout there and the market did not really consolidate much and we had every structure there you can see the market consolidate push up consolidate push up even here we might have that consolidation again what push up something like that and that how that's how the market moves so what we see is we have a nice buy uh, pending order but the market uh, did not really oh i think this was actually on the prop firm stuff so yeah but uh you can see that that we have a buy pending order which the market did not really even try to push so this signal was not really sent i was waiting for the market to trigger my notification actually it's supposed to be here so once the market breaks out of that area we're gonna have a very nice buy there is a chance that the market can actually push even lower to reach these levels of support 
before we see a very nice push do you see that so let's zoom this out maybe you will see what i'm trying to say here uh, let's push it a little bit lower so that you can see what's really happening yeah something like that so we are waiting for the market maybe the market will be coming back around this level before pushing up yes yeah, someone can be someone can say kenzo there is something like that that is very steep yes the market can still respect that but for us to act it means we have to see this area broken or maybe the market has to come back around this support so besides that uh, we just have to actually relax right so let's push to the next one uh, which is um uh, uh, gbp usd gbp usd what's really happening on gbp usd you can easily see that yeah now the market is we are far from that downtrend you see this one here we used to talk about it for quite some time now we are going to this uptrend and now it seems like the market is trying to break out there so let's see let's see what's really happening let's see what's really happening so i hope you can see this very nice we had a very proper structure going up you can see that the market was giving us some proper stuff here you can see that the market was going up down and now you see that the market is trying to do what to consolidate actually a few weeks ago so after that we see that we had a proper breakout this proper breakout gave us something now we have this nice uh, consolidation structure after this breakout you can see that so once the market breaks out and gives you this type of consolidation you have to be extra careful because there is a chance that the market is just adjusting and it might continue pushing to the upset that is actually possible that is actually possible so so what's really happening is uh we sorry i was talking to someone so we can easily see that yes the market is actually on a very nice uh breakout then the market is consolidating for us to the market is consolidating so for us to actually sell it means let's wait for the market to get out of that support area or this structure then we can start to do what to look for those sell or you can uh, call them short uh, positions if the market uh, 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 if the market fails to break this support it means that the market might actually break this uh, resistant area and it might continue to push the upset so the best thing that you can do is to try not to uh, uh, hurry like uh, try to relax and wait for the market sometimes the only mistake that you do is to just try to be in the trades non-stop sometimes you just need to relax and wait for the market and see what's really happening before you try even to take any trade you see so what's really happening now we are on euro usd if you are new to this channel don't forget to smash that subscribe button so what's really happening here is you can see that on a da uh, on a euro usd you can see that the market has been showing us that it's actually pushing lower but we we're not going to act around these levels because the market was on uh, uh, the market was still on that uptrend so the market did bro a break out of that uptrend if i've been talking about it for quite some time so i won't be going back so you will see that yes the market is actually showing us that it's respecting this downtrend and what i like is the market already showed us this uh, resistance and support so now we just go in between this so we break out then the market plays like that break out then we're gonna have something like that so it's quite straightforward you can see even here the market was consolidating break down unfortunately around these levels we were still on that uptrend but this is something that you should understand on top there you can throw your uh, nice resistance but what i see here is just know that when we say the market is going to consolidate break lower consolidate break lower just remember that this consolidation sometimes it won't be as perfect you can even see here so around this level it's not really a perfect consolidation but we can easily see that yeah the market was doing that even here we see that we don't really have a perfect consolidation because the market won't ever be as perfect right so but we know what it's really ha what, what's happening so now where we are we are actually on this resistance so there is a chance that the market can actually push lower so on this one i can say it's better for us to take that sell there 
then we will see if maybe the market breaks this area if not it means the market will be bouncing back we take another sell if it breaks then we're gonna continue uh, scaling on that positions right so scaling is like adding more positions so on gold what's really happening on gold d gold 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 uh, the market uh, on gold it's now pushing to the upside uh, so it's a bit confusing because uh, the market was selling aggressively now it seems to be buying aggressively again so but the structure it was quite straightforward we are still sorry so not we are still we were on a very nice uptrend you can see every time the market touches this area it was pushing to the upside on top of there you can also see that the market was actually creating this uh, nice resistant structures and indeed the market did respect that so what i see here is the market broke out quite similar to gbp uh, usd but instead of the market consolidation uh, consolidate here uh, gold is quite uh, aggressive and you can see that it seems like the market wants to break out of that support so i think i should zoom uh, zoom a little bit closer so that you see nicely yeah so that you see what's really happening so what do we see here is we can see that we have a nice breakout around this area so now our job is to wait and see if maybe the market breaks out of this resistance. So which means the market will be trying to push the upset. Another method that you can use, you, we can try, but don't make your like your chart to be like uh, like mess all over the place because now you're gonna have hundred lines and that might end up con uh, confusing you. So you can have something like this. You can see this makes sense also. So it means if maybe you have something like that, you can say. If the market breaks this level, you see this level, we had that as a resistance. If the market breaks this level, it means you can say, yes, I will be ready to do what? To buy. But if the market is going to respect that, we will see it by when the market goes down. So it means you can have a sell pending order here. Then we can continue selling like that. So that's what I see. If the market breaks this support, it's going to be obvious. Then we're going to run on that. Uh, that resist as uh, so that on that downtrend and we can continue actually selling simple as that so i think i clicked something by mistake so now let's push to the next one let's push to the next one uh which is actually us 30. i like the structure of us 30 but if we go a little bit back you can easily see that yes the market has been actually on this uh, uptrend the market has been uptrending for quite some time you can see from these levels so it's like more than three to four months now then the market has been actually pushing to the higher side and it shows that uh, even though we have this smaller resistor uh, reversals but still the market is actually on aggressive bullish moves whether they say they're gonna take time increasing uh, cutting the rates and stuff it seems like the market doesn't really care much because these reversals they are not really that crazy those reversals they are not really that crazy so that's what we see so now we have a structure like this on top there i think everything's just quite straightforward so we had this resistance where the market actually respected we can see that so we were not just going to jump on that uh, what we have here we can see once the market reaches this level we can see we have two support area yes it's possible to have two supports support zone we have this diagonal one here and we also have this resist a uh, horizontal one so sometimes the market can respect this one and reverse or the market will break so once the market breaks there don't think don't even think about a sell as long as the market is still above this level so we know very well that there might be a nice reversal and mostly the market will do that right so we have to be careful with that so now we're just waiting for that reversal uh, until we can have a nice area where we can actually think about uh, buying so for now we're just waiting on us on us thirty. there is nothing we can do on us uh, currently but we are waiting for that buy right so what's really happening on nasdaq nasdaq has been pushing to the upside for quite some time now so you can see that yes the market has been pushing up but we did zoom here you can go on my previous analysis you will see 
uh, back there so you can see that yes the market has been doing some very nice stuff pushing up every time when the market reaches the support area pushing up when the market reaches the support area so what do we expect we expect the same thing to happen here but fortunately we already smashed that the market already gave us a nice push to the upside and crazy enough the market reversed again so what we can say now is let's wait uh, i'm just waiting for monday i'm just waiting for monday so don't worry about this we did uh, actually uh, take out our profits around that level so, yeah around this level because i did send that uh, that not uh, notification to say close your profits it's enough it's more than enough so now what's really happening you can easily see that now the market is going towards this uh, let me click here it's going towards this diagonal diagonal support so you can see that the market did respect this area uh, previously so there is a chance that the market can do what the market can push up from that again we have this area you can see that if we go back there so around this level it's where the market if maybe the market is going to break that diagonal structure it means there is a chance enough chance that the market can reach this area and start to do what to push the upset another one around yeah not another one around this area it's where i think maybe the market can reach but it's possible early tomorrow the market might actually bounce back there's nothing that stops the market to do that so now our zone is to be is to actually wait for the market to reach this area or wait for the market to break that level before we think about buying before we think about buying we're not on on a sell unless if the market breaks that support then we will start to think about selling we will think about selling i hope everything makes sense guys please 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 don't forget to smash that sub button right uh, because i think more than 50 percent of the people who are watching my channel they are not actually subscribed right but if maybe you don't really want to subscribe it's also fine guys you are not forced to do that i am talking about the ones who are like they don't really mind doing that so on s p 500 we also smashed this one actually the time it was reversing but reversing from this level by the way so you can see that yes uh beside the, re the reversal that we have you can easily see that yes the market was pushing to the upside we reached the highest level there that it's called a resistant so now the market is reversing so we have two areas but i like uh, the structure of s p 500 it's always way too clearer than us 30 and nasdaq so here we can easily see that we have this structure nice sub uh, resistant there so on this one i don't think we have any confusion we just waiting for the market to reach this level of support before we think about buying i think even this diagonal structure here is very closer to that support so maybe the market will be reaching there or will be waiting so actually monday i don't see myself trading so yeah there is that possibility that we won't uh, be trading as you can see that the market is just uh, reversing and which is a good thing which is a good thing so german 40 german 30 what's really happening you can easily see that yes the market was going down previously that was a very nice downtrend we have this breakout but unfortunately this breakout is quite strange because this breakout as we were coming from this downtrend we were expecting the market to have a nice or proper uptrend like this something like that you see that something like that where the market was going to go up but guess what this is just a nice a horizontal structure and the market is actually ranging just look at that the market was just ranging on the structure so which means it was difficult for us just to jump on the market but lucky enough the market broke out let me zoom out of that let me zoom let me zoom let me zoom uh, so when we zoom here we can easily see that the market is actually showing us that it's trying to retest we reached this level remember this is four hours time frame so that level that level is going to be our next uh, proper uh, potential support by the way so i'm expecting the market to respect this area to push up maybe we'll see something like that if it doesn't really happen it means the market will be breaking out of that resistance then we will be expecting to see the market pushing to the lowest side that's what i'm expecting so let's push to the next one which is us oil us oil guys is already very high 
I don't really see uh, any nice or proper what? Yeah, this thing. This thing, it's taking pages from the other stuff. So anyways, it's fine. So what I see here is the market is doing what the market is actually uptrending. You can see that the market is giving us some very nice uptrend structure. And it's difficult for us to look for that set. Unless if maybe we'll be trying to scalp. You can see we have something like that. So you see that the market is moving like this, like this. So we will be ready to do what to buy. But for now, the market is very uh, higher. And we have this stronger uh, resistance. So there is a chance that the market can break, uh, the, the market can respect that as we see from uh, back there. And even now you can see that we had uh, that type of respect there. So the market can do what? The market can go even lower. Then we will be waiting to do what? To buy so that we can make something so anyways guys i don't think maybe there is much that i need to show you but if you want to if maybe you, you are on your prop firm and you are ready to win or to pass those stages let me know i will be helping you to trade on that uh, prop firm it's like account management but it's not really account management just let me know if you are interested in that so yeah signal uh signal packages that is something there you can see that we have some proper specials there from 450 on a lifetime to 150 that's crazy so but it's going to end very soon so it's not like maybe we're going to run this for the whole year it's just limited time so anyways if you if if you enjoyed if you learned something let me know that or you can just smash the, uh, the subscribe button and like share with your friend already the video is very long guys 26 minutes to go into 27 minutes so i think it's much much better thank you very much for watching i i expect to see you tomorrow i'll be sending another signals tomorrow so not signals analysis analysis i'll be doing some daily analysis for those who don't know i do this analysis almost every day just to update everyone uh, in the market but anyways don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends this is kenzo extra hot forex bye